Hello guys, I'm a Halloween Fred. To tell you in this tutorial how to downgrade or roll back iOS without losing any data on any iPhone device. How to do that? In a case your iPhone is not recommending to a downgrade, however, how do you downgrade it? We will see live here. So firstly we will check it out by tapping on a setting. Setting to of course we will have to come in a general. Tap on a general guys. So let's uh, tap on general. General to of course we will have to come in a about. In about of course we can check it out. I was 18.5. So further if I click on a dash. See here. This is a iOS that is a 18.5. 2550053Z Can I, I have to downgrade? They will back and of course the tab on is feasible. Software update. It's a checking. Let me check it out. It's a sync to that up to date. If I tap on a beta versions, if I enable so that 18 developer beta spontaneously of course we can say that 18 public beta. We don't have the further opportunity to downgrade. <coughs> so now, how die? <coughs> In this condition, of course, we will have to go for any administration. That's the three U tool guys. Let it open. Firstly, now it has been open. Now, let it complete. Yes, fine. It has been connected successfully. Connect your data cable and the point of course we will come in as we select a smart flash options there tap on a refresh and I will tap on the refresh see here we have a lot of the opportunity to downgrade one is 18.5 second is this we this is a customization how it is if I delete from here we can see now it's back it any firmware that can be inputted here to downgrade spontaneous of course we have a 18.5 RC, 18.4.1, one more, 18.3, this can be also, directly we can download or we can import it also. 18.5, beta version 4, if I go in the inside of course, see here a lot of the opportunity that anyone selects after downloading. This firmware that can be downloaded from other official website also, either it is uh, ipsw.com ipsw.beta.com or itself on an Apple website or 3u.com on their website that is also available or here also but any customized IPSW that we would like to uh, downgrade either it is unsigned or signed then of course we will click on a firmware update and here having on a especially firmware update now that we have a lot of opportunity how is the beta version we have seen? We can take it out here. Anyone selects? Here, yeah, this IPS will 18.3. This can be also possible here. But this cannot be right now. Here is not science. But unsigned IPS. <coughs> See, guys, here, the one thing I would like to tell you so all the green dot shines, these all are signed versions. Unsigned version of true, so we can download out of anyone. Suppose here, we would like to switch 18.5 to as we select the 17.5 just let's it download after downloading of course we will have to come in especially easy flash options so there of course we will go for imports so that firmware and then right now I will have to download that we would like to come in especially 18.3 RC so let's hit the download after downloading directly we can without losing any data so we will select the retain user data we will hit this ones and after hitting that it would be a change from 18.5 to the 18.3 rc similar status with one second if i we do then we will have a down to two three opportunity more here and after downloading once again so the one by one directly inside ipsw you would like to come on here so then of course we will import the there Yes, after downloading so from yeah, this thing there. So, <coughs> see here we have this ones. Right now, what I am doing, so especially, uh, we are coming on especially 18.5 to especially 18.3 iOS. How dying? Yes, easy way by after downloading, it has started to download, but it's taking time, guys, here because the internet speed is not equally good. So, that's why actually 
the force I have started to download this one so it will take a, a time a little more than occurs after downloading yes let's go for it. in the next tutorial I will show you that especially it has been downloaded or not but right now it's a downloading after downloading so it's a total size approximately 8.21 so this is all about in this video tutorial guys further further when in quite of course I have a quite a bit of comment course yes it has a little match to the reply or the query and uh, these things uh, retaining user data if you would like to lose your data then you will have to select this one otherwise of course the selection is with the retain user data anti recovery flash mode won't select it because otherwise you won't be able to uh, recover any data either it's the apps application or ms data and fix place if your iOS has been damaged if it has been stuck on Apple logo then we will have to fix by this one so here we have a call data to, to come with retain user data means apps have application if sign application or any MS data that would be a retain continue. Hit this one after downloading, select this one, this one and hit this one automatically it will be downloaded within 20 minutes. This is all about in this video tutorials. For the you query, drop the query in the comments box. Plus would be wants to the the query. So thank you for watching, taking out the welfare. Have a great time guys. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Have a great time. Bye bye.